Hi scholars, it's Miss Cup again with a little sidekick help from my friend Buffy. We just thought we would share with you some tips we have for online learning since we know this is probably a new experience both for you and for us. First things first, make sure that we are showing all of our core values, especially working to be kind, patient, and generous like when your cat doesn't want to cooperate when you're making a video. Since this is a new experience for all of us, there might be some hiccups along the way and we should just always operate with making sure that we are being kind towards others, kind towards ourselves if we get a little frustrated or distracted, making sure that we're being patient, whether that's waiting for your sibling to get off the computer so that you can do your lessons or you know maybe some other things crop up, just making sure that we're exercising patience and that we're being generous towards others and towards ourselves. Another tip, make sure you set up a workspace and you get your materials prior to watching the video. You'll notice that in all of your assignments, your first step is always to get your paper, your pencil, or whatever writing utensil that you're gonna use. I'll always try to start videos with reminding you to do that, but it's a really good idea to set up your workspace so that way when you click start on the video, you are ready to go. You don't have to click pause to go get something else, although we understand if things happen. It's also super important for you to create a schedule and stick to it. When we're at school every day, we follow the same routine and we follow the same schedule and our minds and our bodies get used to that process. So it's super important, even though you're learning from home, you create some sort of schedule, whatever works for your family and you, and you try to stick to it every single day. Obviously the first couple of days, you might take some time to figure that out, just like I'm trying to figure out where exactly is the best place to do video recordings in my house or like, What's the best time to be doing things? I feel you on that, but it's really important for us to all be making sure we're creating a schedule and sticking to it. Limit your distractions. Right now, for example, I'm currently working in my kitchen because that's where I have the most space. However, I'm already starting to notice I'm getting kind of distracted by like the things happening outside. So maybe I might try another space to limit my distractions. It's super important that when we are here, we're focused and we're ready to learn. So if something's distracting us, that makes it really hard. However, if you notice that you're getting a little bit distracted, hey, we're all human, right? The cool thing about online video learning is you can pause the video, maybe you can do a quick brain break, like maybe you play your own version of Silent Monster if you're my Hadley friends, or maybe you give yourself just a quick walk around the room, reset yourself, maybe practice some True North, make sure we're ready to go and then click play so that we get started. On that end, make sure we're making the most of our instructional time, especially if you're one of those friends who might have to share time or resources or, you know, a computer with um, some siblings, make sure that you are using your time wisely when you have it. That also means if you're having some trouble, which, you know, hey, we're human, it takes a little bit of time to learn stuff, making sure that we're going to office hours so we can be working with those other teachers to make sure that we are getting the learning that we need. And most importantly, I've got to put in my fun glasses for this. Have fun, my friends. We're here to learn and we're here to make our brains go big and strong, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun like me with these light up glasses, although I wouldn't recommend using these because they make it kind of hard to see. But 